so we're talking with Simon Evans. Um, Simon, how's it all looking this morning? We've got my super tour, which we're going to run. You know, we've done 70 lap races and stuff, so we think that that should hold together uh, quite well, and it's the car that I know like the back of my hands. We have modified it a little bit, not too much, just with the cans and, and a few other bits and pieces on it, but apart from that, it just has to be put off the track of Manfield. So Gene's driving the most, that looks like a pretty mean car. Yeah, well that's a weapon of a thing, you know. It's actually got an LS7 engine in it, so the same engine as what the Super Tour has got in it. But, you know, look at the aero and everything else, you know, it's an absolute weapon of a car. So we've got to get the pit stops right. The guy's going to be on it with the fuel stops as well. It's quite unique. It's not all about that, that one-off flap, you know. It's, it's a complete team effort too, you know. You know and the traffic as well, because we'll be in a, one of the faster cars. So, you know, every lap you're going to be picking off guys and slower. So it's just uh, make sure you, you know, pick those opportunities right. Because if you don't, obviously, uh, you end up with a DNF. It's a lot more casual to a certain degree. It's not as intense as probably what like a, a, a normal sort of championship is. And I think, you know, for the average sort of person, that's what attracts them. But, you know, you see the modifications that some of the guys have been doing in their sheds at home, you know, whether it's on old nzv 8s or, you know, Integras and stuff like that. It just brings everyone out of the woodwork. And, you know, the rule book is fairly open to a certain degree. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool to see what everyone's done to their own cars. It's good fun racing and um, at the end of the day everyone celebrates and has a beer You're going back to the old roots so you know <laughs> yeah, a lot more laid back you can say. Overall you know to actually finish the race you know, is, is number one and then uh, to get a result is number two so just happy that we uh, you know we, we pulled through. Run us through what happened down the end of the pit lane then. Um, I'm not 100% sure I just had a guy running running down in my lane and stopped me. Yeah, so that, I think we lost about a lap there and that, that could have been the difference at the end. They were concerned there was fuel coming out of the car but it turned out just to be water or something, I don't know. I was trying to tell them it was water. Hey, that's right, that's racing. Um, just stoke we are, uh, it's me racing boys for a second.